Okay, so another very important part of maintaining your own pool is vacuuming it. What you see Jake doing here is he is priming the vacuum hose and you see it floating on top of the water. That indicates that it's full of air. And what he is gonna do is just force all of this underwater. And as he does, it'll actually push the air out. And you can see here on this hose, you can actually see it bubbling. That's that air being forced out as he pushes it down underwater. And then in just a minute, he will, he'll plug that in to the skimmer here. And you can see in the skimmer, it's got two ports. And you'll plug it into one of those. So this takes a little bit of uh, effort. And the first time you do it, you'll probably get really aggravated and angry because this hose doesn't cooperate very well. Um, but Jake is doing a fine job. You can see it kind of unwinding as he's pushing it in. If you just take your time like he's doing, It'll, uh, it'll walk itself underwater. Now here's, here's something to think about. How do we get that hose into this hole? Now a lot of people will tell you to put it through this tunnel, which is where the skimmer draws the water in. You can go through there and plug it in, or you can go over the top. But what we're gonna do is go over the top. And there's a reason for that. Um, if you have an elevated hot tub, this one's level with the deck. But if you have one that's raised up, when you go to vacuum that, uh, it actually will cause this to pop out of the hole. But we found that going over it doesn't do that. So now we got it set up, we are gonna vacuum this pool.